Good evening, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. By now, everybody's probably ate, especially here in the Midwest and East Coast, some of the southern states that are in the same time zone. Um, getting out west, uh, out west of the Rockies, maybe just sitting down to eat. And I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. You are my friends. You are my family. Although many of you I have not ever talked to, some of my subscribers I've known for many years and talked to on Facebook and met them through uh, groups on Facebook and have been good friends with for many years and even have met some of you guys in person. I'm taking the opportunity to make this video and to say a few things on subjects I never usually touch because of controversy, because maybe it don't directly apply to my channel, yeah, whatever reason. This year has been a shitstorm of a year, without a doubt. And with winter setting in, and the holidays setting in, there will be many people suffering from depression. Whether it be seasonal depression, whether they're depressed because their families are gone, especially the elderly. This is a big problem with the elderly. Or they just had to take themselves out of the family because of what their family does or how their family acts or, you know, whatever reason. Depression sets in and it becomes rough this time of year for many people. If you know somebody like this, be a friend. Buy them a Christmas present. Give them a Christmas card. Let them know you're thinking about them. Let them know you care. If you see a random person that you don't know and you're seeing signs of depression, whether it be in a YouTube video or out on a walk, say, hey, are you okay? Hey, do you need to talk? Be a friend. Sometimes this is enough to save a life. Now, as I said a minute ago, this year has been a shit storm. For many of us, we've seen the best and we've seen the worst in people. And I don't think next year is going to be better than this year. I think it's going to be worse. Let's all put our differences aside. Whether it be religious differences, political differences, whether you're conservative or liberal, Republican or Democrat, black or white, it don't matter what the differences are. Let's put them aside and let's do a better job at taking care of one another. That way we can make it through the next year and hopefully make it a little bit easier and a little bit better. This virus has affected us all. Mostly for the negative. I don't think there's been too many positives that come out of it. I've watched the effects of this virus on my kids, how it's changed their lives. How it's confused them. How it's depressed them. Uh, the, the case in point, my 11-year-old son. whole summer nothing to do couldn't go out everything that he's used to doing in the summer was gone couldn't see his friends school time rolls around it's online schooling can't see his friends yeah he talks to them online when he plays a game with them but it's not the same and there are many other kids going out there through this if you have kids, talk to them. Make sure they're okay. 
for me personally, yeah, it's been rough. You know, I've got two grandkids I've seen once this year because of all this. And it's hard because, you know, I not only love my kids, I love my grandkids just as much. And I would love to see my all my kids. Would love to see my grandkids. You know, um, one of them's just a year old. Just turned a year old. And it's been rough for everybody. So I'm asking you guys, and I know I'm rambling on here, to do a better job of being friends, of being friendly, and helping one another out. And let's get through this. I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for everybody that comes by and watches my videos. I'm thankful for everybody that comments. I consider you all part of my family. Because we're all of the same mindset that are watching these videos. So from my family to yours, happy Thanksgiving. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. And let's turn things around.